at the other side of the tunnel, the canal changes colour dramatically. And that's definitely gone a rusty iron colour. So there must be iron in them there hills. And as soon as we've come out of the tunnel, oh, it was just as I predicted that we're in another country. The water's a different colour. Everything looks completely different. And coming up, we've got an obstacle already because there's a little boat blocking our way. I think we've got, to, we've got to turn left just before that boat. No, after that boat, I think. No, it's just before. I think you can see the bridge. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. So the Trenton Mersey carries on through that lock ahead. We're turning left onto the Macclesfield Canal and heading north on the Macclesfield. And uh, we go over the Trenton Mersey Canal shortly uh, on an aqueduct. It's all very interesting. What do you say, Fran? I think it is. <laughs> is the beer going to be different up here oh, now? It's where you need... like half the pint is ahead. But look at the colour of this water. It's just completely orange from the iron in those hills. Very nicely done. Yeah, I know. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. I know on days like this everything looks lovely. But after being in the cities of Birmingham and Stoke and other big towns for so long, this is just beautiful. Ever since we bought the boat 16 months or so ago, I've uh, been banging on about coming up north. And I can't tell you how excited I am to actually be getting there now. I just love the hills of the Derbyshire Dales and Yorkshire. And uh, I think I know I've said it before, but I'm so excited. It's un unbelievable. And since we went to the wedding, we've done something like 70 or 80 miles and as many locks. And we've, the days we've cruised, we've done a couple of long days, a few long days with a lot of locks and we've rushed to get up here. And now we can just draw a deep breath and just relax. And uh, there's a boat coming <laughs> and there's already boats moored up. There's not a lot of room. Uh, it's slowing down for me anyway, I think. So I'm really looking forward to the next few months, what it has to offer and what the experiences are going to be like. I just can't believe it. And uh, days like this, yeah, it's just indescribable, isn't it, Fran? I'm yeah. just so happy, just so pleased. And we're just going over the aqueduct now on the Trenton Mersey Canal below us. Hopefully if I lift up the camera we'll be able to see. And we're now on the Macclesfield Canal proper. It's just been, well, we just got up and went in a bit of a hurry, really. We've got a bad weather forecast for a couple of days, so we just, just went. We weren't even sure we were going to get through the tunnel today. But as you said, we can just take a deep breath now. And uh, now, it's just, as the day is so beautiful, I think we'll just keep cruising until we had enough. Until we drop. Yeah.
This is the first lock on the Macclesfield Canal. It's a stop lock, so it's just one foot drop. It's a, a lock the old companies used to use as water saving devices between canals. And a lovely setting as well. I hope she's coming to tell me something. An information box, she needs the key. read that when Fran makes me a cup of tea. Well, the rain has returned with a vengeance. We're having some real extremes of weather lately. It's been raining almost non-stop again for a couple of days. And just look at that low cloud on those hills over there. It's almost at ground level. Oh, well, we've had another drama. Life's just not smooth at the moment. No, it hasn't got its ups and downs. So yesterday we just came up the canal for a few miles just to uh, park somewhere different, have a bit of different scenery about us. And uh, just as we were pulling into the bank, we stuck the boat into reverse and heard a tremendous kerfuffle like a box of spanners being dropped. <laughs> so. Uh, nothing would happen couldn't go forward couldn't go backwards so we switched off pulled in and uh, had a quick look nothing I could do nothing I could see so we or called me even. <laughs> or <laughs> captain fix it here and uh, so we called out River Canal Rescue who were brilliant they came out within an hour I think I think so just over yeah yeah and uh, sorted out the problem immediately it was the coupling between the prop shaft and the drive shaft don't ask and uh, that had all just fall to pieces so a new one was fitted but uh, the young lad who came out wasn't happy that he didn't understand the underlying reasons you know we hadn't really hit anything with the prop well we did have a bit of a clunk under a bridge in Birmingham didn't yeah. we yeah I mean yeah but it happens and I suppose over the course of time hitting things under the water and getting clogged up with weed as we have been doing has just put pressure on this thing coupling so anyway <laughs> he came back today with his uh, boss the head engineer of the company who uh, checked, all, checked the engine over and uh, just retweaked this and that and the timing and everything's fine again isn't it, it so is, we're yeah. really happy because yeah, uh, increased the tick over very slightly it was a bit low wasn't it which yeah. we did suspect Jordan was brilliant and he came back with a senior engineer today they just confirmed everything it was just fine I'm yeah. so pleased with them so 50 quid later we're back on the road well, we're off for a walk to blow the cobwebs. We've been inside the boat again for two days, more or less. Went for a quick walk last night. But today, I'm going to do about five or six miles and go to a place called Mau Cap. Cop. Cop. Which is a little hill with a, a folly built on the top of it. Anyway, this is a thousand feet above sea level, this hill. So uh, it's going to test the lungs a bit, Fran. I've even had to dig my walking stick out because the poor old knees are not top of the
love the stonework on this canal. The bridges are a work of art in themselves. And uh, you'll be pleased to notice, not an inch of graffiti on them. <laughs> Along this canal are these stone mile markers. This one says from Marple, which is that direction. And I think that says 24 miles, I'm not sure, 34 maybe. And uh, during the Second World War, the, uh, most of these were lifted and buried. So uh, possible enemy invaders wouldn't know how far certain places were. to get off the canal and do some different walking as you can tell we're not used to hills these days but uh, living on the canal can feel like you're just living in a corridor of water sometimes you don't know what's either side of you but we've always liked to get off the boat and go off exploring what's on the other side of that corridor but this, so far, has been one of the best walks and we're still going upwards. due to the heavy rainfall of late. The reservoir that feeds this canal and the Peak Forest Canal where we're intending to go has almost breached, the dam has almost breached. There's been a cascade of concrete falling down. They've evacuated the town. Something like 6,000 people have been evacuated from their houses. That's all very serious. So the locks up ahead, which are only a mile away or so, have been closed and also the locks further up at Marple Junction have been closed. So we cannot get onto the Peak Forest Canal, which is where we intend to be. <coughs> so we're happy to stay here for a week or so. We're not- Show them why. Yeah, well, you can't see anything now, but trees. Oh, sorry. So we're happy, you know, to hang around here for a week or 10 days or so. Rumors are flying around that it's gonna be closed for weeks. 
we don't know that nobody knows that as them as yet they have uh, employed Royal Air Force helicopters to drop sandbags onto the dam uh, so all we got to do is sit and wait and see what happens to be honest it's so beautiful here that if it's gonna be we're sort of thinking up to three weeks we'll just yeah, stay put no because mind. there's loads of walks we'll get the train in lots to do towns. lots to see we, yeah there's a train station at Congleton we can catch trains to go here and there and uh, yeah the only issues are is one getting water which uh, hopefully there's a tap further up and two a uh, pump out isn't there that's the only oh, issues yeah. we've got so um oh yeah we just might have <laughs> to is, use um, the toilet facilities in pubs maybe well there is a boat yard behind us that we can get to which will probably be a couple of hours cruise if we needed to so that'd be okay we could still yeah, last yeah. longer but I don't know whether they're going to be able to predict a time that it reopens or whether it will just be left as ongoing and then we'll have to make a decision and see how it goes. So the Canal and River Trust website they're updating it daily so all we can wait for is what they have to say tomorrow morning. So it's not a problem to us is it because we're quite happy where it's we are. It's just so so lovely. So we're filling up with water whilst we can. We're just going to move about half a mile further up the canal and stay there until uh, we can move on and get through the locks. Hopefully it won't be too long. Uh, so there is a winding hole, a turning point just past where we're staying. So if we have to turn around and go back and make a change to our plans, then we can. So uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be stuck for a while, but doesn't bother us the scenery here is fantastic the walks look really interesting and there's jobs to be done so uh, yeah we'll just crack on just got notification that the uh, locks at Bosley which is just under a mile away from us ahead of us are now open as is the locks at Marple which is at the junction of the um, Peak Forest Canal which we were in, hopefully intending to go down um, but they've closed the canal the Peak Forest Canal approximately two or three miles into it so you cannot get any further because work at the Toddbrook Reservoir is still ongoing. They've had Chinook helicopters dropping bags of aggregates to shore up the uh, reservoir dip, if you I don't know what it's called, where the water trips over the reservoir. And uh, that's been happening all day and is continuing. So they've apparently dropped something like 150 bags so far. So it's serious stuff. The town's more or less evacuated within a cordoned area and uh, they're advising boaters not to go down there at the moment um, they're advising boaters on the canal to get off and just scoop by if uh, you're going past so it's not looking good at the moment and I can't see that canal being open for the next uh, foreseeable future so it's 18 miles away for the junction before we get there so we'll make that decision when we get there so 18 miles for us we're not moving anywhere today uh, the rest of today and tomorrow uh, so 18 miles can take us a week to get there anyway so um, we'll take a view on it when we're up there <laughs> 